These opportunities don't come up often, so I should take the chance while I have them. This time, it's the Thinksider M58. I'm not going to go too much into the history of this system, as I previously did that in my previous video covering this system. However, the specs of this system are a, a Intel Core 2 Duo E7500, 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and integrated graphics. I want to mention that this PC is 64-bit, as a 64-bit processor. I'll prove this by booting into Arc Linux real briefly from a flash drive, and this thing currently has Windows XP and before I do this recovery media, I want to mention that this is 32-bit Windows 7 recovery media, and I have a feeling this system would have originally came with a 64-bit copy of Windows Vista Business. But anyway, let's pop in the recovery disks and get this going now, shall we? One last thing, it gives you one last warning. Do you want to turn back? You'll lose everything if you don't. Now let's get to that time lapse, shall we? <laughs>
We're at the Art of Box experience now, and I'm gonna change the locale to Canada, because the Canada theme looks nicer. For the name thingy here, I put my name, and for whatever reason, I had to put my middle name as a extension of my first name, because of the fact that this uh, PC apparently can only handle 19 characters for my username. And of course, I'm gonna use the model name as the computer name, and well, that's just about it. Anyway, now that I'm settled into the uh, desktop and I've gotten all cozy and stuff, let's explore! First things first, we can eject the hard drive, which I'm not gonna do. Second things second, we have the Lenovo ThinkVantage Toolbox, which reminds me a tad bit of the HP support system from the HP Compact 605 Pro. In this ThinkVantage Toolbox, we have panels for value, applications, accessories, and messages. I'm not gonna go into these uh, different tools in this toolbox, so let's move on. Third things third, okay, I need to stop doing this. Uh, we have uh, the Think Center page. I'm not gonna talk too much about the bullet points at the top, except for that last one, where it says the legendary Lenovo quality and engineering. This is a tad bit significant, as Lenovo was originally known as Legend, and in fact, it's where the first part of the uh, company name comes from. And here we have Think Vantage tools, system settings, hardware settings, and browse disks and drives. I'm gonna move on directly to the Think Vantage tools. In here, we have enhanced backup and restore, updates and drivers, power controls, the system health and diagnostics, which I previously showed you, and the factory recovery disks, which we are not going to need to make because there's already recovery media on the internet archive. Also, we have a Windows Experience Index score of 3.5 determined by the lowest subscore. In this case, the lowest subscore is the gaming graphics, which come at a 3.5. The graphics are much better, coming in at 4.1. However, the processor, memory, and primary hard disk all come in at pretty good rates or scores, with the processor being 6.4, RAM being 5.5, and hard disk being 5.9. This isn't too bad of a system, but its graphics hold it back. Music plays quite nicely on this system, I'm going to show that real briefly here. I think it sounds quite nice, and you'll probably hear this more later, where it will become apparent when we play some games. Next, we have Adobe Reader 9, specifically version 9.1, for all of your PDF viewing needs. And I guess also PDF signing needs, but this PDF doesn't have a signing area. I think these were often included due to the uh, file format of system manuals being PDFs. Another thing that we have is Internet Explorer 8, and with a Windows Live toolbar. Internet Explorer 8 came pre-installed with Windows 7, for from the uh, release of Windows 7. I'm pretty sure it came pre-installed on later on Service Pack 1, but there's not really much to note about here, apart from the Windows Live toolbar. Other pre-installed programs include Skype 4.0, which is nice to have on here even if Skype doesn't necessarily work anymore, and Norton Internet Security 2009. Both of these were optional installations. The fact that these were optional installations, I find quite interesting because of the fact that if this was from like, say, HP, they probably would have just chucked these two programs on here no matter what. They wouldn't give you the option or offer the, you to try them out and stuff. Another thing that we have is Raxio My DVD, which was a competitor to um, Windows DVD Maker. I am not entirely sure if it's a competitor because I'm not sure which one came first, but I can make some nice looking DVDs with this, and this PC has a working DVD drive. On the other hand, there's a Roxio Creator, which is a suite of different utilities related to discs. I don't really need to cover this much. The last pre-installed program that I'm going to take a look at is Windows Live Essentials 2009, because that came out here, or it was an option. It was just like Skype and Norton Internet Security 2009. It came pre-installed in the form of an installer. In here, we have Windows Live Photo Gallery, Windows Live Messenger, Windows Live Movie Maker Beta, or not, maybe I need to set the date backwards, Windows Live Mail, and Windows Live Writer. I'm going to now move on to stuff I put on here. There's not a lot of this stuff since it's RTM Windows 7 and it only has 2 gigs of RAM, but we have the Nanami Madobe Desktop Buddy, which does work. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, I think it's time that we should move on to games. In terms of games, I'm not going to try much because, as I previously mentioned, the integrated graphics in this system are particularly bad, but what I can confirm is that Peggle will run on this system. Have a look at this.
I think that runs quite fine. Let's move on to Bejeweled 2, which I was on a bit of a hot streak here, as you can see. This is a game that in particular, I want to point out, as due to the amount of sounds that are in this game, it can sometimes put a tad bit of stress on the computer's speakers. A great example of this is with the HP Compact 6005 Pro, where the speakers can't really handle too much sound. However, the game runs fine and the sound plays a-okay on this computer. So maybe I may use this computer for playing Bejeweled 2 and whatnot. The last game that I want to try on camera is Toho 7 Perfect Cherry Blossom, otherwise known as Toho Yo-Yo Moo Perfect Cherry Blossom. This game is a staple of this channel, as you probably know. In fact, this game runs quite well, so you might see this in like Windows 98 and 2000 videos. Just a possibility. That's basically gonna wrap things up for this computer. This recovery media was quite nice. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>